What's up, guys? Welcome back to Maestro Vapes. I'm going to have a sip of coffee here. It's time for another vlog video. I got a couple of items I wanted to talk about. A lot of people ask me about this mug. I used this mug on one of the last videos. And, uh, yeah, this is my brass knuckle kind of mug that I'm using. I dig it. It's awesome. Uh, finger grips. Fits good. It's not quite as big as real brass knuckles, like... You couldn't use it like knuckles, but it's it's close, man. It's really close. I dig this thing a lot, all right? Let me put that thing down, have a vape, and we'll start chatting about a few things, all right? Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me. Vaping on uh, the Dark Horse RDA. I've been digging this thing a ton. Like, it is pretty brilliant. Like, I've been vaping it as my main Addy lately, and, uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it, okay? Um, what did I want to talk about? A couple of things. I got something good coming up at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that, you know? Just, yeah, stick around, guys, please. You're, you know, somebody, something. Anyway, we'll get to that in a little bit, you know? Like, it's confusing now, I know, but don't worry. It'll be worth it. Um... Yeah, what am I going to talk about? Ba or, uh, batteries? Yeah, I saw a picture. Somebody posted of, you know, like a battery pack that came in a, uh, of, like it's a laptop battery, right? And it looked like they were Sony VTCs, although they didn't really have logos. It looked like a Sony battery with a green wrapper, whether they were like, you know, VTC 4s or not. I don't think they were probably like a 10 amp sony something like that but uh maybe some of them have them like the sony vows or whatever those things are uh, so i ended up ripping apart i think this was from an h a dell was it a dell inspiron or something like that ended up ripping one no this is an hp i think so i ended up ripping it apart to see what's inside of it and this is what i got i got you know, Joytech Evic batteries out of it. These are like seven or 10 amp batteries. I forget which. Um, yeah, they came, like I bought an Evic about a year ago and these things were in it. <laughs> so I've got a half a dozen more of them and it would be neat to kind of see if you guys have ripped apart these packs before to see what's in them. Let me know in the comments because, you know, inquiring minds want to know. I want to know what's in these battery packs because I'm sure you could buy, you know, used up packs online and kind of pull them apart, but you don't want to buy just anything. Like I wouldn't want to buy this and end up with these because I'm probably, excuse me, I'm probably not going to end up using them, but yeah, it's kind of neat. 18650 batteries within it. So that's pretty cool. Um, Samsung's. Yeah. Speaking of Samsung batteries, Sony shortage, you know, like they're not making Sony batteries. The VTCs are becoming really hard to find. Um, about a month, month and a half ago, I bought some VTC4s. I bought, you know, 10 VTC4s to kind of carry me over. But then these guys, I was able to grab some too. These are the Samsung 25Rs. These are a 25 amp battery that pulse up to 100, 100 amps. So these have been working really, really well. Um, I notice a little bit of drop off on them though. Um, once they get to about 3.9 volts, I notice a bit of a drop off on them. Whereas the Sony's, the VTC 4's and 5's, I could take them to about 3.7. I would kind of find myself, you know, vaping them to about 3.68 before I put them on the charger. Uh, the Samsung's do do a, like a little drop off and you can keep vaping them. And the amount of time that you can vape these compared to Sony's is about the same as a VTC5. Um, but I got to say, these are a pretty choice battery. Pretty choice Samsung 25R, not the uh, 20R. Okay, 25Rs if you're going to grab them. Definitely killer batteries. I'm going to have a vape here. I've also been vaping the Authentic Copper Nemesis. This has been like an all day thing for me that I really, really dig vaping. Um, vaping, vaping. I'm vaping wise liquids. <laughs> this is a uh, parallax. It's kind of sweet. It's a nice pair vape though, but the wise stuff and the halcyon stuff I've been vaping lately, 
and they're pretty sweet, you know, like they're very, very sweet liquids. Damn, this needs a battery. Let's put one of those Samsungs in it. Let's do that. Sorry I'm reaching around the camera, but, you know, sometimes you got to do that kind of stuff, right? Taking out the uh, old, putting in the new, should hit just a little bit better. Let's try this out. Patriot, this is the version 2 Patriot with the chop top. Digging the combo a lot. That's pretty badass. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice batteries, man. Dig these a ton. Um, they feel like to get to that 3.9 volts, though, it takes about as long as it takes to get to, like, 3.7 on a Sony, if that makes sense at all. So, really, the amount of time that you could use these batteries is about the same as the Sony, if I didn't really clarify that. Mmm. Another thing I wanted to talk about was uh, I got a bunch of nichrome wire from uh, Sean down at Lightning Vapes in Florida. And the price on the wire there is dope. The shipping was awesome. Like, took six days to get here to, uh, you know, near Toronto, Ontario, Canada, okay? So killer shipping on this. Um, I did get some 18-gauge nichrome 80. I got 20 gauge, 22 gauge, and 24 gauge Nichrome 80, and the deal was killer. Like, the, the, the wire is a good price. If you're going to buy wire, check out Lightning Vapes, okay? Dot com, I believe it is. I'll, I'll have it in the description. But uh, 18 gauge, I was playing around with this, and it's just kind of, a lot of people have been telling me, use 18 gauge, use 18 gauge, it's killer. But... It kind of feels like overkill a little bit. Um, it takes, it doesn't take a ton of time to heat up as much as it kind of remains hot for a really long time. So once the coil heats up, it just holds that heat and then dissipates slowly. And uh, it's kind of an insulator melter, you know, like I put it in my doge, melted the insulator in my doge, and now the second one's kind of going because the 18 gauge. So you know, be aware of that. You know, if you're going to use 18 gauge, you could be killing your uh, insulator. I was going to say battery. Kills your batteries too, man. Like it just, it burns them out. Like when I, I had a couple of 18 gauge builds I was playing with and I put a fresh battery in and I swear it's like eight solid poles off of it and they were dwindling off. And, you know, it's just kind of pushing it kind of pushing it I feel like it's a little bit of an overkill for not much of you know a result I'd probably prefer to stick to 20 gauge like I I personally dig 20 gauge canthal 20 gauge nichrome 80 is badass too because it just zaps like heats up a lot quicker than the canthal and you get a really nice vape off of it and I've been finding if I do like one extra wrap or even two extra wraps, I get a little bit more out of it. So 20 gauge Nichrome 80 is beast. 22 gauge is beast. 24 gauge is beast. Um, try them out. I, I dig it. Lightning vapes. 18 gauge wasn't really for me, you know, and that's kind of weird coming from me, right? But it wasn't. Dark Horse again, 20 gauge build. Kills it, kills it. I think I got a five wrap, two, four, yeah, five wrap, 20 gauge. Uh, it's great. Really, really good vapes for me, you know, but the resistance is low. Be careful, you know, be careful if you're doing low res builds, all right? Um, what else did I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about ohm meters a bit. A little bit about ohm meters. That was a shitty pull. Um, so... I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to pull out just a handful of ohm readers that I use, okay? Handful of ohm readers. These are kind of, you know, my go-tos, all right? Um, I've got a couple other ones. I've got a couple other China ones. I've had a couple other USA meters. 
didn't end up working. Um, I'll tell you the USA ohm meter story first, all right? Um, I got a USA ohm meters, USA ohm meter, and it was reading like pretty much a point off. So that's not really a big deal if you're building, you know, 1.3 ohm coils and it's coming up as, you know, 1.2 ohm coils. But if you're building a 0.12 ohm coil and it's reading, you know, 0 0.02 and it's wonking out, it's not cool. Had to send it back. I got another one from a business in Mississauga, Ontario called Vape Dominion and they sent me a green one. I told them, I'm like, it's whack like it's reading about a point off and they're just like okay we'll send you a new one and in the package they sent me a new one with shipping to send the other one back so i got another one sent the other one back and this one was reading just the same you know i was reading about 0 0.07 too low so if i was building like 0 0.09 point, 0 0.07 just would not read it would kind of fluctuate to 0 0.01 like really whack um, and I didn't dig it and I kind of player hated on it hard um, so when that happened I was kind of going between like a China ohm meter and another China ohm meter and between these two I was able to get kind of a decent reading for my builds um, this one reads like you know three points off like it'll be like 0.06 and it'll jump to 0.09 to 0.12 0 0.16 0 0.19 0.22 and it would do that so it wasn't super accurate in that respect like if you had a 0.13 it would probably read 0.12 if you had a 0.14 it could read 0.12 so it was a little bit janky for me and I was using this one a lot and a lot of my build videos I was using this guy but it was reading 0.05 high so I would just subtract 0.05 and there's some electronic equipment at my work, like some of the electricians have like really nice fluke meters and some cool equipment for reading voltage and amperage and resistance and stuff like that. So I was able to read some of my addies to get a really good idea of what my builds were hitting at. Um, so that's how I got the reading for the 0 0.05 off this because yeah, I, I used good equipment to figure out exactly where this was off but this was reading really accurately from one to another it was just reading 0 0.05 off all the time um i went to a local shop oh man and i threw the good one on the floor what do i always throw stuff on the floor in my videos man like when i'm just chilling out i never do that um uh, went to a shop that i really dig um and i always shout them out in my videos because they're cool Customer service is really cool. You know, like when I order stuff from them, they, you know, send me little letters and notes and love notes and shit, which is pretty cool. Um, they said, guess the mod. I think that's a Vapor Shark. Maybe like the RDNA Vapor Shark with a K fun with a quartz kit on it. Maybe nano kit. Maybe not. Maybe it's full size K fun. No, it's got a kit. It's got a nano kit on it, um, <laughs> but they do that. Maybe it's a little 20 watt e-leaf eye stick, but yeah, they send me like little notes and stuff. They're really cool like that. Uh, so I'm always shouting them out, but I went to their shop and they had, you know, USA ohm meters. And the cool thing about these ones is you turn them on, they have can on it instead of, you know, USA. So I thought it was pretty cool, but I was saying, you know what? I've had three USA ohm meters and they've all read like shit. Like, and then they gave me one, their shop one, and I put an Addy on it, and they're like, what's it supposed to be reading? And I'm like, it's reading accurate, you know? So I kind of put my foot in my mouth on that one. And then I went home that day, so I ordered one of these, and it reads really good so far. You know, hopefully it stays that way, but, you know, some of the USA meters are good, some of them are bad, and, you know, a lot of people hate them, and a lot of people love them. That's, you know, what I've heard from people, but... I've got one that seems to be working really well. So you're probably going to see this in my build videos, my Addy videos, stuff like that, wherever we do a build. So cool shit right there. Uh, what else? What else have I been vaping? I've been vaping Pexom. Okay. I got this guy and 
some people hate this thing, but there's a huge following for hexoms. Huge, huge following. Um, sometimes I put like a 0.055 ohm build on here on my JPG Cryptic Stripper, and I'll vape that with uh, Boardwalk uh, Captain Krusty, and it's a decent vape. Right now I've got my cape on with frosting from, uh, who makes frosting? Halcyon makes frosting, but it's like a cape on thing. Like you can't really build too low, but for a lot of people, this is a decent vape, man. And I'll use this when I like, I'm in the car or something like that, I'll use this a bit. I'm probably gonna do a cape on build video. I've been thinking about it for a long time and somebody just recently asked me, what's the build that you do in a cape on? I have three of them. I have three builds that I do in a cape on and I'll do the video, I'll tell you about the two that I do and then I'll do one of them. You know, I'll tell you about all three, but uh, I'll do, you know, one of those builds, okay? Um, Hexone, it works okay, it works okay. Um, if you're into beast vaping, you're into cloud chasing, stuff like that, it's not enough for you, but it's enough for a lot of people. It's enough for a lot of people, and the size of it is nice. The tactile button is nice. I got the red one, like the detonator on the side. It's pretty cool, and it's put together well. Like, I know that people say, oh, you could build this for, you know, 50 bucks. I think it's pro it would probably cost more like 65 or 70 bucks for the components for this but they're put together well you know like i guess anyone can build a hammond box in their house but a garage or shop or whatever but you know they're built fairly well built fairly well you know what while i was talking about batteries fuck, i almost forgot about something oh dude this might have to wait until the next one because I don't have another one. Ah, oh, whatever. I ripped apart a VTC4 to see what was underneath it. And it's a battery, like a sleeve, right? And that's what's underneath it. But I was also going to rip apart a purple E-Fest, 30 amp E-Fest, because a lot of people said it's identical. So I wanted to look for markings to see if they were. But I don't have a purple E-Fest on hand. So on the next vlog video, maybe remind me, because... I'm going to do that. We're going to rip one apart and check it out and see if they're the same or different. Um, what else? You know what I've been vaping a lot too? I've been using cotton bacon. I've been digging cotton bacon like no one's business, man. Um, it's my go-to wick right now. Um, I bought a bag of it to try it out. I was really skeptical. Wasn't sure I was going to dig that at all. I just thought it was kind of hokey. You know, I thought it was kind of hokey. But once I got a bag of it, and I started peeling off strips and making wicks out of it. I just, it was good. You know, they're really, there's no break in time. The flavor is really nice and clean. I dig it. Like cotton bacon, I dig it. It's kind of on the pricey side, but you know what? So is a lot of vape stuff, man. The more it gets popular, the more expensive it becomes. Okay, but cotton bacon, I had, I bought one, then I bought another pack right after and i've been wicking a ton with it like everything i wick is with that all my builds lately are nichrome 80 typically they've been you know 20 gauge nichrome 80 is like my go-to build right now digging it a whole lot um i have some notes on the side here that i'm kind of referring to i don't have a ton to talk about on this oh i got some new screwdrivers New screwdrivers. I always get screwdrivers when I see them anywhere. I got these ones from Walmart, man. Walmart, Vermont, American screwdrivers made by Robert Bosch Tool Corporation. Um, and they kind of look neat. You know, I've probably got like six sets of screwdrivers, but they kind of look neat to me. It's all like metal. Like it's all steel, right? It's this nice thick driver and... You know, it's just really smooth to hold and to use. So I'm hoping these are going to be good. I'm going to use these on the Dark Horse RDA review and try them out, man. The only thing that freaks me out is that kind of 
that ridge right there, it gets bigger. I get freaked out when I try to center my coils a bit. Like that might get in the way of the negative posts. That's the only thing. But uh, yeah, hopefully these work. Because I had a set of Stanleys that had that little ridge on them too. And didn't work too well. But the ridge on this is much, much smaller. Much smaller than those. So I have a feeling these are going to be pretty boss. But I haven't used them yet. Okay. Uh, maybe tonight when I do a quick build, I'll try those out. Um, sticking around. I'm glad you stuck around. Whoever you are, if you're still stuck around to this video, I'm glad that you did. Because I was saying a while ago that I was going to give something away when I got 2,000 subscribers on my channel. Okay? Um, we're probably up to about 2,800 almost now. So I've kind of bypassed that. I kind of feel like a dick because I should have given this away probably like three weeks ago. But it's been hectic, man. Work has been hectic. Life has been hectic. And it's been hard. Like there's been certain videos I wanted to do. And, you know, it's just been vlogs haven't been in the forefront, you know. So, but I do want to give something away to someone out there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away the Two Puffs Quicksilver RDA, okay. When you get this guy, I did a video for this a little while back. Comes with the stainless steel sleeve. It comes with the brass sleeve as well as the copper sleeve. And this thing is a flavor weapon. It is a nice RDA. It's on the expensive side for a lot of people, but that's why I'm giving it away because it's one of those things that a lot of people probably won't buy, but I think they would like it if they tried it. So I'm going to give this away to somebody and that's awesome. <laughs> you know, I actually ended up getting this given to me to review and I was going to give this back and then you know, shy at Dash Babes was like, now keep it. So I was pretty amped about that. So that's why I'm kind of paying it forward because, you know, I got it. I'm going to give it away. You know, that's just what I want to do. All right. Um, I don't get a lot of stuff given to me. If I got a lot of stuff given to me, I would probably do a ton of giveaways, you know, and I don't want to feel like I'm giving away junk. Like, I don't want to give away like a Segeli number eight that I had a year ago um, when it's kind of a shitty mod, you know? Like, I don't want to give away all my old stuff and be like, here, I respect you guys. Like, that's kind of lame. But the Quicksilver is a really nice stripper. The flavor on this thing is a machine. And a couple of people have actually said, I want to get one. Like, I really want to get one. So this is your opportunity, okay? Uh, at first, I thought I was going to do this on my Instagram page and just say, okay, well, I'm going to post a picture of it on my Instagram page, you know, check it out and comment with your email address or something. But then that kind of felt like I was like begging people to like follow me on Instagram. And that's just kind of lame. Like if you don't want to follow me on Instagram, don't fucking follow me on Instagram, you know, like. I don't want to be that guy who like asks for people to subscribe and shit like that because I think that's kind of stale, you know, <laughs> but the videos are here to try to help people, you know, that's it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it away, but I'm going to ask a skill testing question. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and then you can email me with the response and then uh, I'll put the, put the names into a draw and pull whoever somebody will win it and that'll be it um so if you email me at maestro vapes at gmail.com and answer what's something like fairly easy fairly easy uh what's my favorite mod like pretty easy and i'll probably take you know maybe i'll take two answers for it you know like whatever just email me maestro vapes at gmail.com and tell me what my favorite mod is. You know, what's my favorite mod to use, all right? Uh, simple, and you could win it. And then on the next one, I'll give it away. You know what, maybe I'll just, you know, pick somebody and I'll just send it to you and surprise, surprise in your eyes, um, you got it. But, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. Cool chilling out with you guys. It's been a slice, thanks for hanging out. Thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks to everybody who chills out, supports the channel. You know, like, that's super cool, guys. Super, super cool, guys. 
It's always a blast hanging with you, having vapes, shooting the breeze about vape stuff. You know, it's, I dig it, you know? Um, yeah, look for the Dark Horse video. That's going to be out. It's probably going to be my next video. It'll be my next video for sure. So look out for that. It'll be cool too. All right, guys. So email me. Email me for this guy. Dark Horse. Dark Horse. Not the Dark Horse. Quicksilver RDA. Two Puffs RDA. It's good, man. It is really good. This one is, uh, the serial number on this one is 100. 100. Okay. So pretty low serial on this guy. It's not like eight or anything, but I'm not like anybody special. You know what I mean? So check it out. Email me. Um, like I always say, guys, butt out, vape up, and breathe easy. Know your limits and vape within it. And you, my friend, are going to have a stellar day. All right? Cool chilling with you. Maestro out. Have a vape. And we cut. All right? Chill. My dark horse, though, man. Good airflow. Oh, yeah, we're cutting out. See you on the next one, guys.